Hello friends, this is a uh, very busy week for video games. <laughs> we got Diablo 4 and Street Fighter 6. Now I have bought both, and uh, Diablo 4 is obviously going through its uh, Air 37 era right now. Uh, I wanted to talk about Street Fighter 6 on Steam Deck. Now, there's been a lot of videos about this, because obviously it's the hot new fighting game. Uh, it has a lot of things that fighting games have needed for a long time, like uh, more accessible controls and... Uh, an, an actual robust single-player mode, among other things. But the problem with running this game on Steam Deck is that it has random frame pacing issues. Now, if you don't know what frame pacing is, uh, a good example would be, like, uh, Bloodborne on PS4. I've heard that game has bad frame pacing, so, like, even though it's supposed to be a lock 30 FPS, it feels way worse. Uh, I've had problems with this game where it will... Be it a lock 60 FPS, it's not hard to get this game to run at a lock 60. Um, like in the fighting game component of the game, meaning, you know, not the lobby or world tour. <laughs> the actual part where you're, you're playing the video game works fine. But you'll get random spikes of really bad frame pacing. So this is how I fixed it. Uh, I've tested this quite a bit. Uh, this fixed the problem for me completely. Uh, I played through an entire arcade mode, and then I even did some uh, online matches at work, and uh, I had no frame pacing issues at all. So this is going to be pretty easy to fix, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and show that it works. I won't bother to show what happens when it doesn't work, because I've seen... It seems like maybe it's on a case-to-case -case basis it doesn't work for some people, but I definitely had the problem, and it made it feel really awful to play. So this is how you fix it. Let's go ahead and get into the game first. Gotta, gotta give you a health warning. They should uh, add the bad frame pacing on deck to that, too. It's very strange. Some games on Steam Deck, the frame pacing gets messed up. Uh, Neo 2 is a good example as well. Like, that game is marked as playable, but the frame pacing is all kinds of messed up. So, if you try to play that game, what will happen is you can get it to run at 60 pretty easily. That game has pretty good graphic settings that impact performance, but... It never feels like you're actually playing at 60. Uh, I'll try to reinstall that game and maybe test this again, too. Alright. Sorry, it takes a little while to get the gameplay in this. <laughs> but it's uh, it's faster than Diablo 4 right now, so uh, I'll give it that much. Unlike Diablo 4, this game can also be played offline, so... As long as you don't care about playing online, you still have access to your game. You cannot say that for Diablo 4 right now. I had like three load loading indicators there. <laughs> Alright. So we don't care about any of this stuff. I'm just gonna go into training mode. Actually, uh. You wanna do first? I want to open this, go to performance. Actually, this will not work in, uh, looks like it won't work in docked mode, which is pretty dumb. <laughs> but basically what you want to do is you want to put the frame rate limit or the refresh rate to 59. Uh, if you put it there, then the frame pacing issues will just disappear outright. Uh, it's a shame that I can't show you, but I think a lot of people are going to be playing this in portable mode anyway, so what you want to do, make sure you use a per game profile because certain games will freak out if you mess with the frame rate, like certain games freak out below 60 FPS. It seems like this game is actually unique in terms of fighting games, because fighting games need to have a lock 60 FPS at all times because all the frame data is tied to the frame rate. The only exception to that rule would be, uh, before this game at least, would be Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, which actually has unlocked frame rate. So you want to make sure you go to per game profile and then you'll see a refresh rate. I guess because the game is docked right now, it won't let me access the refresh rate. Just put it down to 59 and you should not have that problem anymore. Now, if you're docked, I'm not exactly sure if it happens docked, as you know. I have the game on PC, so <laughs> I don't really play docked. Maybe if I had been at the... The game had been out when I was on vacation, I would have done that. Make way for the ninja star! 
one crazy USA I don't really feel like I need to talk about the settings because most people have already uh, talked about it at length before but want to make sure the frame pacing is an issue see it's doing it right now <laughs> uh, I'm not exactly sure how you could fix this in uh, not exactly sure how you could fix this in docked mode, but I think most people will be playing this portable, so uh, I don't have a capture card mod installed in and I don't have a good camera, but this is basically the steps anyway. I'm sorry this is a crappy video, but I've, I've seen a lot of people ask about this. Uh, I don't know how you could fix this in docked mode. Like you can notice right now if I get back into gameplay. It has like moments where it looks really choppy. Yeah, this game is weird. Sometimes you'll get frame pacing issues and you kind of don't want that in a game like this. But the only way to fix it is to put it on 59 FPS. Uh, you notice here... Get out of back out of the game here. You back out of the game now. It says it's unsupported, so... As we've uh, talked about before, <laughs> uh, with my numerous other Steam Deck port reviews, unsupported doesn't mean that it won't work, or unknown doesn't mean that it won't work. It means that they haven't tested it, or you know, it might just need Proton GE, which will actually fix a uh, vast majority of games that say unsupported. If you run Proton GE, uh, then it'll work fine. Like a lot of the Muso games in here have made like three videos about these games in the past. <laughs> like, most of these are unsupported, but the, the large chunk of them actually do work if you put in a little extra elbow grease. <laughs> Hopefully, they will fix the frame pacing issue, but for now, uh, just follow those steps. It'll be in the same menu that I was on earlier. Just put it on 59 refresh rate, and then save it as a per game profile, and the frame pacing will be completely fixed as long as you're in portable mode. I don't know how to fix it in docked mode, but I feel like uh, it's not going to be a priority for most people. <laughs> I think most people will probably use the deck version for uh, just training, uh, maybe local matches with friends and stuff that won't have access to a monitor, you know, playing with friends on a lunch break or something. Uh, the Steam Deck version is it's already pretty crippled as it is because you can't really play world tour mode uh, it lags a lot it's a pretty miserable experience you can play online the fighting game component does work but you're just gonna have to tweak that one thing and you should be good to go thanks for watching sorry this video is a little crappy i can't actually show it while i'm <laughs> while i'm in docked mode unfortunately but those are pretty much the steps so if you are experiencing frame pacing issues where you feel the game is running at 60 fps locked which is the goal of course but it doesn't look or feel it uh that is the best way to fix it Thanks for watching.